I'm not bad to say about these people, but uh, at, right now I'm comfortable and I'm I'm at the I'm at I'm where I wanted to be. Golovkin's on the radar. Uh, Canelo's on the menu. Um, Jack's on the hit list. It is what it is. So I get a chance to figure out where they at sooner or later. Um, Oscar said he was open to talk to you about some matchup. Yeah, game. Oscar haven't contacted me yet. Yeah. Yeah. Don't listen to the hype. <laughs> he got to say that Oscar has not contacted me or my team about fighting Canelo. Yeah. Don't listen to the hype. So, why would you say that? What would you make of those comments? Like, just when you first heard it, what did you make of them? I just yeah. read it. I, I read it. I knew it was a lie. Yeah. He's not. Oscar is not uh, considering me one of those fights. But if it, but if it is, you know, of course I'm here for it. Yeah. But uh, Golovkin, Golovkin, um, they say he want to fight me, but he really don't want to fight me. I mean, you see the comments that his trainer and those guys are making. It's not like. It's, it's not giving me hope, you know, so it is what it is. I'm here, though. When Oscar mentioned, like, Jacobs and Saunders, I feel like his mind thought of your name, but he didn't want to say it. You yeah. kind of, like, think the same thing. You kind of waited for him to say your name. And... I knew it was going to happen. Like, I want the best in the division. I want the best in the world. Like, like I'm, I'm going to start going even harder. So, like, they're going to get a chance to say my name even more. So I'm not worried right now. Like, it is what it is, you know. Uh, sooner or later, they're going to have to say my name. You know, and um, like I said, I'm the interim champion. He don't fight me. I move up to the belt, and I'm, I pick the shot. I call the shots. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna change the game. I'm going get it. I'm, nobody. There's no. It's not gonna be a waiting game when it when you see me at the top. I'm fighting everybody. That's for all of you who believe the internet when it says Charlo's facing Canelo. Uh, guys, that's not happening. Uh, only way that's happening is if Canelo gets through Triple G real quick. That's not going to happen either. Um, a few other things that aren't going to happen, my dear brother, Jamel, Charlo. If you really want to face Triple G, I suggest you beat Daniel Jacobs. If you don't, I don't see you facing Triple G anytime soon. Or if you don't beat Daniel Jacobs, if you are able to beat Billy Joe Saunders, which... In no way is a small task, then you can face Triple G. And this is all assuming the Canelo fight happens within this year, you know. Um, honestly speaking, I don't think that you're going to face Triple G this year. I don't think you're going to face Canelo this year. Maybe next year, probably the following year, due to the heat that's around your name right now. And I'm sure... This whole Danny Jacobs controversy is sparking the heat on the possible fight that you all could have. My question is, can you keep up? Can you keep up with Danny Jacobs? Danny Jacobs outstruck Triple G. Triple G, that was the first opponent that Triple G never finished. Keep, keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. That was the first opponent Triple G never finished. Now, most people think it's because of the... The fact that Danny Jacobs took the, the fine instead of weighing in. So they all thought, okay, he, he got that extra weight on him to cushion every single blow. To add more power to every single blow he had. You know, uh, spark of genius. Uh, I would have done the same thing given what I have heard about Triple G. Triple G's a hard hitter. He has that Mirko Krokop gene. He has that... Um, Who's the wrestler's name? He recently retired, man. Um, who's that wrestler? Dan Henderson. Yeah, they they both built like bricks, you know. They, they, they're very, for lack of a better term, hard people. So if that was a strategy, it was a well-executed strategy. Um, but my brother, I don't know if you're going to see Triple G this year, man. Uh, maybe next year. Maybe next year, if you can beat Danny Jacobs, I'm pretty sure there's no way Triple G has to ignore you. There's no way Triple G can ignore you. Simply because of who you beat, Danny Jacobs. If you can beat Danny Jacobs, you are in the running. And I'm a huge fan of the Charlo Brothers, man. I think these dudes need a reality show. I think they need some sort of side hustle that shows them out to be the superstars. I know they are, man. I can practically feel the energy all the way from... It's a man. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. This hit a spot.
because Tucky says we supposed to set up shop here. Hmm? Hash the dime. Yeah, this is it. Set up anywhere inside where we got the white flags. 